Hey, it's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess, and today I have for you a less than a week update on this phone. This is more or less for my people who have the phone now. I just want to go over a couple things that are dislikes and likes. So let's get right into it with the Honor Magic V2. First, I want to tell you the absolutely love the battery life. See my lock screen wallpaper here? This is because on any other device, I can set my video wallpaper to be the lock screen and the wallpaper. And on this phone, for some reason, I can't slight dislike, but I mean, I find the uh, little lock screen, hey, magic is kind of nice there. That's one of the ones that's already set on the phone. I didn't go get this anywhere, but I take that as a slight dislike. I like to have the same wallpaper as my lock screen. I'm sure we can go out there and retrieve some other things to make video wallpaper, but I kind of like to use my own and have custom. I mean, I like that I have five icons here compared to say my OnePlus Open where I only have four. So I like that I have five, but themes work on some of the apps. They don't work on all the apps. So you see icons that I theme to be part of theme, which is my dark mode, work on some, not so much on others. I get it, not a big to do for me. I did want my home screen to match some, so I did change my default dial to be the Google dollar so I'm using you know everything Google but had I used the dollar that comes on the phone it would have been a big green phone sitting out here with all these other icons that are gray and white or black and white or whatever you want to call that yeah minor but luckily I had plans to use Google dollar anyway so that's a good thing any other little issues are kind of like what come with any other folding phones with my discord and some of the other apps once I open them up phone or open the phone it could cause that to be out of whack to where I don't see the whole thing kind of open, hard to open with this case so it'll ask me to relaunch the app so I'll relaunch it but if I go back and I close it you see it's off center I can't hit the enter button it's not there you know it'll tell me at the phone to relaunch the app it's constantly telling me to do that that's fine but just be aware that some of your apps that aren't built to work on both screens and there are settings to where you can make everything full screen I know a lot of people complained about that on the pixel fold that's not an issue here you can go in and say you want everything to be the correct proportions on the unfolded screen the biggest issue i want to address on this phone is the fact that i'm only speaking from somebody who has t-mobile t-mobile works fine the connection is great i don't have any problems with 5g just make sure you have 5g turned on i saw mine was not turned on by default when i unboxed it but if you decide to connect to a bluetooth device yeah, the person on the other end of the phone cannot hear me. And I will tell you, I got an update out of the box. So I can't tell you whether this worked before the previous update. I can tell you that I emailed Wanda Mobile and they did tell me to either wait for the next update or request a new SIM card from T-Mobile. I'm not going to do all that. So I'll wait for the next update. But my thing is this, I carry two phones. And for the most part, while using these two phones, I try to use the newest phone that I'm testing out more so than I ever touched the other one. So the OnePlus Open, I have not used much at all. I did pair this phone to my car, but I have to say, shout out to one of the people who commented on my first video. I'll put your comment up here. We had a tremendous back and forth about this because he wanted me to test it out on my phone because I hadn't tried it with Bluetooth. I am honestly waiting for a Bluetooth headset that I plan to use with this phone to come in before I'd ever thought to pair it with Bluetooth. So I paired it with my Pixel Bud Pros. I paired it with my OnePlus Bud 2 Pro and neither could you hear me you know I called my people on T-Mobile now the, the person who posted the comment said that he could not get other people on T-Mobile to hear him I can't get anybody to hear me I can call Verizon caller I can call somebody who has AT&T I can call my mint sim there's no hearing me unless I turn the Bluetooth off it's the weirdest thing I've ever experienced on any phone whether it be international device or whether it be domestic. It's just really weird. So that's the little, you know, bug that this phone has going right now. And I thought I should share immediately since I, you know, I was gonna wait to make a first video. I had some plans to sit outside and, you know, take some pictures and things like that. But I'll do that next week. I just wanted to get this information out there this week. My dislikes and likes within the first week and hopefully with an upcoming update, 
this will get fixed because he says he can call people and they can hear him on Bluetooth if he's calling AT&T and whatnot. I can't. So varies by phone, but an update should fix it. A couple of other quick little dislikes. Try to show you this without too much glare. There's a little bubble here and the screen protector's coming up on the side here. I am waiting for my matte screen protector so I can remove these. I don't have any issues with the inside screen protector. It looks fine. When the screen is off, I can see the bubbles coming up on the side, the bubble in here in the screen, like I can rub it in with a fingernail. It'll go away for a little while and then it'll come right back. I can't wait to replace this. I like that they gave me a case, but this case the phone is just a very slippery phone. I'll put it that way. It has slid off the couch a couple times. So, you know, I don't have any damage to my phone, but it has slid off the couch and it wasn't a pleasant experience to be checking my phone to make sure that it did not have damage. But that being said, my clear case, which will probably be also slippery, but it will offer some front protection, is due to get here tomorrow. You know, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the carbon fiber and I'm waiting for the matte screen protectors. So with all that being said, I think that's all of my dislikes so far. So let me give you a couple of likes that I have about this phone since I've had it less than a week. The battery life on this bad boy has been a beast. I cannot ask for better battery life. I'm getting, you know, my OnePlus Open gets great battery life. I can get longer than two days out of this phone. And that's what me trying not to use them open at all. I just ran it until it was about to die, I think. I had charged it, I think it was Wednesday on the way to work. And so I made it all through the day Wednesday, all through the day Thursday, and I think by Friday evening, I was charging it. That's phenomenal for me carrying two phones. I like getting two days. And if I'm getting more than two days, it's a win for sure. I am using both phones. I haven't had any issues besides of the issue I spoke about with the Bluetooth just a little bit ago. My fingerprints register real well. They use a different method. Usually people tell you to pick your finger up and put it back down. They have you swipe across the fingerprint sensor to register, which I thought was really weird. And it's funny because when I went to go do another finger, I couldn't remember because I always use these two and these two. And I could not remember if I had did my thumb or my index finger on this hand. And I went to try to do that same finger and it told me it had already registered that finger. So it picked up on it. So I know it's not like BSing you, but I was just like, wow. That's pretty neat that, you know, it's a swipe across versus a pick up, put down touch type deal. Another thing I really like is that they put buttons on both sides of the foldable. Now it's really awkward to open this phone with that case on it. But if you look here, the volume rocker is on the left hand side and the power buttons on the right hand side. I like having my buttons in two different places. It's easy to know exactly what you're touching because the volume rocker is going to be closer if you're using, you know, an opposite hand or something. Yeah, I do stuff weird like that. But when I'm unlocking my phone, that reason I register both fingers on both sides because I'll pick it up upside down sometimes and I just unlock it that way. On most of my other foldables, it's set up just like this, except for this one has the, the silence, the sound and the vibrate on that one side. But for most foldables, they try to put all the buttons in one place. I really thought this was a great idea, my honor, to put them in two different places. And one thing I've always liked that some people probably don't is that all the alerts aren't turned on for all your apps. It asks you as you use your apps. That's why I told people, I think when I got my unboxing up and I haven't really set up all my apps yet, when people were like, well, which one do you like better? I'm like, I haven't even had the phone 24 hours. I really can't give you that kind of analysis when I haven't even set up my apps yet. Once you get them set up, once you set up each app, it says, hey, do you want notifications for this app? Yes or no? You just click yes or no. I mean, as much as I like, you know, checking my email, I don't need alerts every time I get an email because the influx of emails is ridiculous. So my phone would go off all day. If I have my iPad on, it's constantly going off. <laughs> because it gets every alert for everything. And that's one thing I've always enjoyed about most of the imported devices is the fact that you can tell it what you want to hear and it's going to listen to you and give you back what you want. So shout out to Honor. It gives me alerts I want and the ones I don't want, I don't get. And the same for my OnePlus. Again, this was just a quick video going over the things I like and don't like. Probably less than a week in prior to whenever the next update comes in. I needed to get that information out about the Bluetooth situation, but I really needed to tell you the things I really like too. 
That might be a deal breaker for some people who have T-Mobile and they might really want to hold off on getting this. I can't speak for, eh, I could probably try it with Mint and see if that works, but they're the same company. So I would assume I'd have the same issue. I don't have any other SIMs just kind of laying around like from Verizon and AT&T. So I can't test that for you, but if you have the Honor Magic V2 and you can come in and tell my subs whether you have any issues with your Bluetooth, that'd be great. Like I'm always out open to testing things within my ability um, I am not getting the pen for this phone. I'm probably getting ready to unload my Oppo pen. I've had so many offers from people wanting to buy it. And so that's that. I'll get it up out of here because I really don't use it. And that's probably why I won't get the pen for this one. But so I don't get so long with it. Let's, let's wrap this thing up. I'd like to thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out my less than a week likes and dislikes on the Honor Magic V2. I will also do your questions answered. Drop your questions down in the comments and I will get to those as I can. But any other issues you, you might want me to test out that's within my within reason. If you did like this video, click the like button. If you like multiple videos on this channel, you might want to subscribe. Subscriptions are free, memberships cost, and memberships have privileges. If you'd like to see what those privileges are, please click on the join button and see what those memberships have to offer. I'd like to thank you for your time because time is money and money is important. Y'all get gone. Gotcha.